friends hey welcome back to another vlog it's so lovely to see you so you are joining me on my final commute into the office yes this will be my last ever commute into the office which is I don't know if it's sad or not it's bloody joyous Joyous and sad, who knows? <laughs> I tell you what is a bit sad, this bloody weather. Light drizzle. So it's Tuesday morning, it wasn't meant to be rain forecast at all. I mean, this summer has been crap compared to last year, don't you think? Yes, so my final commute into the office, I'm on a diverge. I've actually put my WTV Nano 40mm wheel set on. So we're gonna go through the woods or through some of the woods and along the canal just a shame the sun's not shining but it should be epic so as a lot of you already know myself and Amy will be moving up to Halifax hopefully by mid-October all the house stuff is going through but the reason why it's my final commute my last commute today is um, I took a new role within the company that I've been working for for the last 22 years, um, which actually started back in March. But I've had to um, continue looking after a lot of the old work that um, a lot of the old work that I've been doing over the years for the last few months until my replacement that's going to be based in the office uh, was taken on board basically. And to cut a long story short, he starts tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna meet up with him and my old boss, who's coming down from Preston, uh, just to do like a handover in the office and um, explain some of the uh, functions he's gonna be looking after, etc., etc. Um, yeah, so this is my final commute. I'm gonna be based from home. Um, in my new job, based from home, still visiting hospitals, but um, obviously we'll be up in Halifax, so I'm looking after the north, which includes Scotland and Ireland. So it's gonna be so exciting, I cannot wait. Um, but in the interim period, until we move, oh, it's raining a lot harder now. Yeah, so as I was saying, I'm meeting a new guy tomorrow, handing over. Um, so the office, I won't need to go in the office anymore, which is amazing because uh, it's been really difficult the last few months trying to concentrate on my new role while still doing, you know, my old role as well, as it were. So I can't wait, I'm so excited. But I haven't been able to commute on the bike for months, I'm sure. I can't remember the last time. Maybe a good couple of months ago. I said I'd catch you if you fall And if they left the screw more. Yes, and uh, just to continue with the house theme So my house has sold Hoping to exchange this week and complete by mid to late September So Once that completes, Holly, my daughter and her mum Are moving down to Cornwall So in that interim period uh, when we move out, yeah, while we wait for the Halifax house to be ready and all that go through, um, I should be moving in with my dad and my stepmom, which should be amazing. So I'm really excited about that. I'll have my own room with an ensuite. <laughs> so exciting. And then I catch you up in the so we're just coming along the uh, little lane now that leads us into the woods. So I've just got to pick a route through the woods. This rucksack is bloody heavy. Got my laptop, paperwork, changing clothes, lunch, shoes, um, toiletries. Here we go. Oh, 
Ooh, one handed. That was quality. I should have worn my bloody chesty mount so I could get some hands free action, as it were. I mean, who doesn't like a bit of hands free action on a Tuesday morning? Tell me, how's it feel sitting out there? Feeling so hard, it would do far away. earlier but these WTB nanos are so bloody good amazing tires I've got them on the specialized axis wall set that I haven't used for months but it is brilliant this diverge as many of you know that I've got diverges are so versatile I mean, on Sunday I was climbing Cheddar Gorge with my Fulcrum Deep Section 55mm racing wheels on it. And now I've got my uh, gravel wheel set on. It's so good! I'm totally in the wrong gear. It's a lot emptier. That's Amy's specialised delay. That I'm putting into storage for her, for us. Right, we're on our way back. It's about half past four. Do you know, as soon as I left the office, it started bloody raining, which is just typical, but, it seems to have stopped, so that's a bonus. We're just riding along the canal, uh, heading back. I was only on the sh canal for a short, short period of time this morning, so I'm heading back a slightly longer way with more canal towpath. Got to do this one-handed. Oh, skills. Now that was bloody skills. Quite impressive myself there. Hey, I hope you're all good. Hope your, ba your day's been going well. Look at the size of this beautiful barge. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that one. Beautiful. Oh my days. These barges are stunning. I think they're the Dutch barges. Sort of double width. Sitting up there, feeling 
over this bridge because it's such a tight left hander goes into this really this probably doesn't look that steep but it is blooming steep over this narrow bridge over the canal the towpath straight into a gravelly climb which is a segment and according to my wahoo I got a PR which is awesome so I'll double check that when we get back because I am bloody happy with that anyway it's been a good day I forgot to show you what I had for lunch I had leftover veggie chow mein. Oh my days. It was so good. But now I'm so hungry. I think I could eat. I think chow mein. Vegetable chow mein is probably my favourite food. I could eat copious amounts of veggie chow mein. So I'm just going along this long potholed kind of it's a private driveway that leads to a house but obviously it's open to walkers and cyclists because we go into another steep really stony gnarly downhill section so I'm gonna have to be careful on the descent it's, like I said earlier it's a shame I haven't got my chesty mount with me because it'd look awesome so this is it it dips really sharply oh and hey some uh, FCC uh, shop news I'm hoping to have the shop open the FCC store open tomorrow so it'll be open for two weeks I'll put a link to the uh, FCC store below and the password so if you want to order any kit I am currently wearing I've got the uh, gilet on but I've also got the long sleeved red and black jersey on and it is so bloody comfortable I am loving it especially for these kind of oh my god this is stony holy moly I don't know if it picks up the descent very well on camera but it is like proper stony flinty steep um, I'm really taking the off-road route today this is amazing um, anyway yeah I am wearing so I've got the gilet over the top but this is the long sleeved um, FCC red and black jersey let me just show you the inside they're kind of like it's kind of got like fleecy lined sleeves I don't know if you can see that there so so bloody comfy I love it I've got the same in the FCC fluoro yellow um, oh yeah good uh, anyway yeah I'll put the link to the store below so um, go take a look and if you need any help with sizing or um, which jersey to buy we've got the black and white the new black and white we've got the traditional red and white and there's also the fluoro yellow so go take a look right i'm going to tackle this down here and i'm going to put you in my pocket look we have logs loads and loads of logs i'm going to get a picture oh my days there are hundreds all pheasant oh my goodness this is beautiful 
yeah made it down that descent it's just back there and we've got to climb as we go through those trees there we've got to climb up you can probably see the other side of that field up there anyway i'm going to get a picture by these logs because i love logs absolutely look at that that is stunning like a piece of art so we just come off of the uh, one of the lanes we're now going into Chipperfield Woods those of you know those of you know those of you that know Chipperfield will know this is where Blackwell's is the cafe now in a couple of weeks time probably three weeks time I'm hoping to uh, plan and have an FCC ride starting at Blackwell's heading to the Music Cafe in Albury and then finishing at Blackwell's as well you know for like a an after party um, because it'll probably be the final kind of FCC ride that I do from here before moving up to Halifax so I'll sort out the details and the dates and I'll post all the info up on the Strava page and the FCC Facebook page as well so keep your eyes peeled for that it'd be lovely to see as many as you as many of you as possible that could make it I'm also sorting out another Nottingham Midlands well a Nottingham ride with that legend Mr Mark Smith and uh, a Scotland ride as well probably for Scotland ride probably for early October but I'll keep you posted on that I'm um, that legend Alice de Bunyan is sorting out routes for us so we've got a few things coming up which should be amazing By the time I get back, there you are, probably be about 10 miles, which is amazing. I am in need of a cup of tea. And do you know what? I was just thinking for my dinner tonight, I'm gonna have beans on toast. Oh my days. Literally, I'm so hungry. Let me have a look what the time is. Well, it's four minutes past five. As Les would say, as the Les would say, it's tea time. Oh. So I'm sure when me and Amy move up to Halifax, it'll become tea time rather than dinner time. <laughs> Just to fit in, you know, with the Northern thing. Cannot wait, so excited. Oh my days. Good stuff, good times. Right, you lovely lot just done 10 miles got another half mile to go I'm gonna end the vlog here thank you so much for joining me on my final commute to the office and back it has been a bloody pleasure I'll see you in a couple of days with another vlog look after yourselves stay safe out there bye for now <laughs>